data by file paths first we will see the oracle database file paths oracle home path is oracle sid release oracle has data files and log files oracle data files path is oracle sid sap data 1 oracle sid sap data 2 oracle sid sap data 3 Oracle log files, there are two types, online redo logs, offline redo logs. Online redo logs stored in Oracle SID Origilog A and Oracle SID Mirror Log B. Next, Oracle SID Origilog B and Oracle SID Mirror Log A. Next, offline redo log file, uh, files path, Oracle SID or ARC. SAP backup files are stored in Oracle SID SAP backup folder. SAP check files are stored in Oracle SID SAP check folder. SAP trace files are stored in Oracle SID SAP trace folder. Now we see the MS SQL. MS SQL home path is drive, for example, C program files MS SQL server. MS SQL data files are stored in C SID, SID data 1. C SID data 2. C SID data 3. MS SQL log files are stored in C. SID log 1, C SID log 2. OS level users. Whenever we install SAP, SAP creates some OS level users. In Windows, the OS level users are SID ADM. He, he is the SAP server administrator. Next, SAP service SID. He is the owner of SAP services. Next, SAP ADM. In Linux operating system, only one user will create it. He is SID ADM. Database users. When we Install SAP in using Oracle database. The SAP creates the following users in Oracle, Oracid, in Sybase, SIPSID, in DB2, DB2 SID. SAP level users for logging in GUI, we need two users those are sap star ddic or our creator users what is the purpose of sap star the sap system super user is sap star his default password is pass to secure sap star against misuse you should at least change its password from the standard pass for security reasons, SAP recommends that you deactivate SAP star and define your own super user. Next user is DDIC. DDIC is the maintenance user for the ABAP dictionary and software logistics. DDIC is the only user that is allowed to log on to the SAP system during an upgrade. To secure DDIC against unauthorized use, you must change the initial password for the user in clients 000 and 001 in your R3 system. Database users SAP SR3 for Oracle and Sybase, SID 
for MSSQL, SAP ABAP1 for HANA, SAP SR3DB for Java. Users for Oracle Windows Operating System, those are SIDADM, Oracid, SAP ADM. Users for Linux Sybase System, SIDADM, SIBSID. Users for MSSQL and Linux Operating System, actually users not present. Why? Because Linux doesn't support MSSQL, hence no user project. Log in the SAP system. How can we log in the SAP system? In GUI, we use either SAP star or DDIC. The password is master password. Master password we create when we install the SAP on the system. OS server login. OS server login we log in using SIDADM. The password is same master password. Whenever we installing, we create the master password. What are the services? Services is the whenever we install SAP, some services will be created. These are the SAP services. SAP seat instance number. If we give, for example, SAP CD is HED, instance number is 02, then SAP HED 02 is our SAP service. Next one is SAP host control. These are the two SAP services when we install SAP in the system. The yeah, SAP created these two services. Database service. If we use Oracle database, the SAP creates these services. Oracle, Oracle service SID, Oracle TNS listener. For MS SQL, here are two services, SQL server, SQL agent. These are created by the database and uh, those are in the services these these are exist if you are unable to see the instance in mmc what will you do check the check the services.msc check sap sid instance number is running or not How can you start SAP in command line? By using the command start SAP to start the SAP or go to MMC, right click and instance, click start. How to start the SAP? By using stop SAP command or go to MMC, right click on instance, click stop. What is SAP startup sequence? First, SAP will start the database, then start the primary application server, and finally start the dialog instance. What is SAP stop sequence? First, SAP will stop the dialog instance, then stop the primary application, and finally stop the database. Startup sequence is reverse of the stop sequence. Why the SIDADM only start and stop the SAP? Why? Because SIDADM is the only SAP system administrator. SAP environment variables set to set to SIDADM only. What is the media required for installation of dialog instance? We need the media, HWPM, kernel, RDBMS client. For installing the dialog instance, the profile path of primary application must set. 
where we need to set in the folder SAP server SAP MNT is the shared folder in SAP to use installation of dialog instance. If we stop the primary application, what happened? What happened to dialog instance? Whenever we stop the primary application, message server is down. Hence, all dialog instances will be down. Is SAP service seed can log in the SAP system? SAP service seed is one of SAP services only. He can't log in the system. He takes care of internal services. Database is down. Primary application is up. Can I install the dialog instance? No. If the database is down, obviously application server will be down. We can't install. If database is up, primary application is down, can I install the dialog instance? No. To install the dialog instance, primary application should be up and running. Why? Because primary application has only the message server. Who will take care of load balancing? Message server will take care of load balancing. If the profile folder is deleted and system has to uninstall, how can you uninstall? Uncheck profiles are available option and continue uninstall. What are the central services or ASCS that is ABAPS SAP central services split? In Walder version, message server is clubbed into central instance. If central instance is down, we can't log in the rest of dialog instances. To avoid these issues, SAP comes up with the central services concept. If our environment is Walder version, then we use the ASCS split tool to split the services. ASCS is used for high availability purpose and proper utilization of application server. If you try to connect the system from the GUI but not possible, what is the possible reason? If system has to connect, at least two dialog work process is in waiting state. Where will you get the operating system and database software details? In the GUI, click the system and status gives the all information of operating system and database software details. How many times the system up and system down? Where this information available? It is in the work directory available file. You got the written code 0012 while checking the connection between application and database. What will you do? I go through the log. Based on the error log, I will troubleshoot the issue. For example, my listener not started. I started listener manually and I start the system database and application connection is fine. I will check the application logs in work directory that is dev underscore ms, dev underscore disp, dev underscore wp0. What is the use of start SAP R3 command? This command is used to start application server from OS level. What are the post installation steps? Post installation steps after SAP server build before handling over the system to business. We need to perform the post installation steps by using T codes that is transaction codes. The first transaction code is SIGCAR SM28. 
used to check the installation consistency. SU Comp is used to maintain the company address. S license is used to install the permanent license. SU01 is used to create the users. SEC4 for client administration. SGEN is used to reduce the compilation time and to regenerate the objects and programs. RJ10 is used for profile maintenance. SMLT is used for language installation. HTMS is used for transport management system. SM36 to schedule the housekeeping jobs. HTJDSC time zone maintenance. SPAD is used for printer's configuration. DB13 is used for DBA planning calendar. These are the T codes in GUI. For executing the new T code, we use slash n and slash n T code. For creating the new session, slash 0 and T code. Slash next is used to close all T codes. Thank you.